Sonny Cayetano files a report. On the calm and easy waters in the harbor at Roberts Grove sits the island dancer, a luxury boat owned by a non-national of ample means. Inside its hull, the scene of a tragedy residents of Placencia are still coming to terms with. Cousins Vance and Warren Cabral were out socializing earlier in the day, celebrating the 10th of September with friends and family. The merrymaking somehow led them to this marina several miles outside of the village proper, where Warren reportedly had access to the idle vessel. Along with two others, both relatives continued drinking. During their afternoon hangout, a 9mm handgun was introduced. Shortly thereafter, a single report. Okay, around 2.45 yesterday, 10, uh, September 2015, we received an information as a result we visited the um, Robert Groves Marine Era where we observed the lifeless body of Vance Cabral on a boat um, with one single, what appears to be a single gunshot to his temple. Anecdotally, residents we spoke with off record told News 5 that the well-known businessman had a habit of producing his licensed firearm while out drinking. That practice may very well have resulted in Cabral's demise. Our investigation um, tells us that Mr. Cabral was out there socializing with four other persons when a uh, firearm was brandished and accidentally went off and hitting Mr. Cabral, fatally wounding him. 45-year-old Vance Cabral rose to prominence in the tourism industry as owner of advanced diving in the mid-aughts. Despite subsequent legal woes, he was an expert angler, popular for posing with a sizable catch in pictures taken with his many guests. Word of the dreadful incident quickly spread across the peninsula, dampening the spirit of revelers who were also out partying. I understand that in the immediate aftermath of this incident, the weapon was tossed into the water nearby. Can you describe to us the efforts to recover that weapon from the water below? Yeah, we do recover the, the firearm that was tossed in the lagoon by the divers from Robert Groves. In fright, Warren Cabral reportedly threw the firearm overboard. Retrieving it from the murky water below was a snap decision made by the lead investigator, considering that sedimentation, as well as the length of time it would have taken for Coast Guard divers to arrive on the scene, would have complicated the recovery of the weapon. While the incident is admittedly unintentional, the matter is still being treated as a homicide. Notice that um, on the official report that was released earlier, it has it stated as a murder, as opposed to uh, an accident among friends. Because the investigation is young at this time, I would choose to remain silent at this time on that, on that part of it. Finally, in terms of the investigation, are the people who witnessed the incident cooperating in terms of assisting you guys with information? Yeah, they are assisting us in the relevant information that we needed. Warren Cabral has since been taken into custody by Placencia Police pending the outcome of their investigation, as well as a directive to be given by the DPP's office. In October 2005, a group of four divers went missing near Glover's Reef under the supervision of Vance Cabral, proprietor of Advanced Diving. After being adrift for 55 hours, Nancy Masters, John Bain, and Yutaka Maeda would survive the frightening ordeal. A fourth person, Dr. Abigail Brinkman, would perish at sea. The incident in a Supreme Court ruling would later be attributed to Cabral's negligence as boat captain, resulting in damages awarded to Brinkman's family, as well as a five-year suspension as a tour operator. Reporting for News 5, I am Isani Cayetano. At least six 